Hello, uh, good morning everyone. We have of organizing committee. I welcome all to the second day of workshop on biomass to fuel chemical value added products for sustainable energy and environmental future sponsored by Atal AECTE. It's my pleasure to uh, introduce our speaker, uh, Mr. V. Ramakrishnan, Vivekananda Kendra, National Natural Resource Development Project, Kanyakumari, uh, going to present on a title, Energy from Waste Biomass Biomethanization Technology. Uh, our speaker has uh, uh, almost two decades of experience in the field of uh, energy from uh, waste biomass. He is in charge of re uh, research activities of Technology Resource Center of Vivekananda Kendra, Nardeep, in the field of renewable energy, eco-friendly construction technology, and water management. He is in charge of community-based renovation of local water tanks of Kanyakumari district, namely Kanyakumari, Chakrakulam, and Krishna Govil. He also developed a Shakti Shurabi biomethanization plant based on organic waste. He is a coordinator of he is a coordinating renovation of water bodies uh, almost 40 plus and looking after renewable energy project commissioned around uh, 300 uh, around 3000 biomass plants. He also uh, published uh, various uh, books uh, in the field of biomethanization, rainwater harvesting, and ferro ferro cement technologies. He also hold a patent on are uh, uh, from india south africa china sri lanka for developing biomethanization plant based on organic waste so we are looking forward to have a uh, very uh, interesting session from you sir uh, over to you sir thank you uh, namaskar to everybody uh, so uh, i am ramakrishnan from vivekananda kedra so already uh, our uh, friend inform or uh, everything just uh, before starting uh, my session, I want to tell you about my uh, organization. So, Vivekananda Kendra, everybody knows about Vivekananda Rock Memorial. So, I am from that organization. Vivekananda Rock Memorial, uh, 50 years back, uh, Eknath Ranade uh, construct, constructed with the help of uh, locals, all over India, people are involved in uh, constructing this uh, Rock Memorial. <coughs> Uh, Vivekananda Kendra is having a, a twin ideology. One is man making and national building. And we have more than 1,000 branch centers in all over India. So we are working in the education. We have more than 100 schools in uh, uh, Northeast area and Assam and, uh, um, and Andaman Nicobar area. So we are working for rural development activities. So many states we are working in uh, rural development activities and yoga. Uh, uh then uh, publication and uh, not up so this is our uh, uh, important branch center activities so vivekananda kendra is working for medical research foundation with the help of uh, oil uh, refineries company at uh, azam so uh, we have human excellence center at uh, itanagar we have uh, ikm this is yoga based uh, center at bhuvaneshwar and uh, actually, Vivekananda Kendra Yoga is very important. Actually, ma making man is a better man. Is a, uh, uh, we used to uh, take yoga as the tool. So uh, many, all the centers uh, teach yoga. And we have Institute of Culture at Guwahati. We have Vedi Kishan Foundation at uh, Kodungalur. And Vivekananda Kendra International at uh, Delhi. Uh, Prakashan Trust at uh, Chennai. And uh, um, Arun Jodi Project at Arunachal Pradesh. And we have rural development activities, many states, and the Seva Prakalpa and VK Vidyalayas, as uh, we have. This is our department. Uh, our department is a natural resource development project. These are one of the wing in Vivekananda Kendra. Here we work for eco friendly construction technology. So we have different type of uh, building technologies, more than 30 35 technologies like ferro cement, uh, mud block, uh, 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 then arches, wall to domes, different type of arches, wall domes, how to construct it and um, um, uh, brick slab roofing, filler slab, uh, like that we have many technologies in that one. And we used to give training program and uh, uh, we used to construct the houses uh, for poor people. So actually we are not taking as a, uh, like uh, constructing bigger, bigger building because we are not a contractor, we are uh, doing the service activities. Like we work for uh, water management. So we renovated many tanks in Rameshwaram, we renovated more than uh, 38, uh, temple tanks in Rameshwaram. Actually, you can see the Dirtham inside the temple, but 
but we renovated the uh, dirtham outside the temple there are uh, 108 dirtham in rameshwaram but many are disappeared so we are uh, uh, rejuvenating all the dirtham we are finding out we are with the help of jsp we are going on digging where is the dirtham somebody tells if, uh, this dirtham was there uh, that dirtham was there like that then based on that uh, and archaeology department we are finding the dirtham and we are renovating so this is also water bodies only we are renovating it actually our prime minister was uh, more interested on kasi and uh, other places but we are interested on rameshwaram uh, but uh, we are doing the green, green rameshwaram project also i will tell you afterwards this third one is uh, agriculture so organic farming we are doing we have many biofertilizer different type of biofertilizer biopesticide how to prepare it and um, um, enzyme so like that we are working on that we have a very good uh, network of farmers and all we have traditional system of medicine we are promoting siddha medicine the siddha medicine we are uh, having varma resource center varma research and resource center and in that we have many uh, doctors in the, in the network and the traditional vaidyas are in the network so we are promoting it and we have green health camp center our rural dispensary we are having it and uh, fifth one is the renewable energy i'm going to talk on uh, renewable energy only here this is a green amation project what i told uh, uh, about we are renovating temple tanks so this is a uh, um, green amation project whenever you go to green amation rameshwaram you can visit our project and our our center is at near uh, railway station so this is inaugurated by uh, abdul kalam and uh, dpr is uh, 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 published by uh, uh, prime minister so these are the thing we are working on uh, different verticals actually whenever we talk about development many people says we consider the bridges uh, whenever we go for uh, construction activities then that more this is not eco friendly uh, environment friendly so we are working on environment friendly green transport uh, and uh, plantation land development uh, and um, there are many thing uh, yeah, this uh, local flora fauna like that we are working on that so uh, just, just now i am talking about the biogas plant technology so this is the biogas plant you can see the dinabundu model biogas plant the biogas means a mixer of methane and carbon dioxide gas so methane uh, methane uh, and carbon dioxide gas and uh, some uh, traces of gases also will be there sulfur gases also will be there very less amount but in uh, it varies uh, depend upon the feeding material so the, when you put any material in uh, anaerobic condition so automatically this gas is producing it and these are the common ones. Whenever you talk about biogas plant, these are the common ones will be there. There will be a mixing tank will be there. Or instead of that, you can say the feeding tank. There either will be pipeline will be there, inlet pipe, digester. Digester and the reactor will be the same. Uh, the uh, reactor means where the reaction will take place. Uh, this biological reaction will take place. So that is, we say the digester or uh, reactor. And gas holder. So this gas holder will be balloon gas holder or um, uh, this is fixed gas holder like that will be there or uh, regular gas holder also will be there like uh, um, FRB gas holder also will be there so these are the uh, gas holder and outlet pipe uh, outlet pipe means uh, whatever the after digested uh, uh, slurry it comes out from the outlet pipe and it goes to the outlet tank so what we will do here the mixing tank will be mixing the waste in that one mixing the waste or cow dung in that one and it will go through pipeline inlet pipe and it goes to the digester for a uh, digester or reactor if the reaction will take place we will get the gas it goes to the gas holder and afterwards that uh, whatever that outlet slurry goes to the outlet pipeline uh, through outlet pipeline it will go to the outlet tank so then we will uh, use for other uh, other purpose the tank uh, water slurry comes outside we will use, use for uh, uh, fertilizer and whatever gas it be collected it goes to the through pipeline it goes to the valve and the fittings uh, through that it will we'll use for thermal purpose electricity purpose and other purpose also we are using it so there are uh, different type of biogas bio we will uh, uh, we will type it uh, in the uh, two way one is arrangement of gas holder sometime uh, it will be fixed room gas holder or floating dump gas holder or balloon gas holder like that we can make it so there are three type is there one is Fixed room, this is Dinabandhu model. What we are seeing it in the picture now, that is Dinabandhu model. This is fixed room gas holder. You can see it should not be near uh, tree, uh, near well, uh, uh, where uh, lower uh, level ele elevation. We should not go for that place. 
and uh, next then is the uh, how to uh, mark the uh, plant it varies from depend upon the plant if you go for uh, one cubic meter capacity the size will be smaller if you go for two cubic meters the size will be slightly bigger size then we uh, third picture you can see it then uh, the model uh, digging uh, after digging you have to give the curvature you have to put the concrete then there is a uh, like benchmark here uh, that man that machine is holding that uh, reaper no? that is a um, measurement so if he uh, rotates horizontally if vertically the same uh, uh, radius will go for vertically also and horizontally also so like that he we used to uh, we used to construct it for this purpose uh, that mason has to go uh, undergo the training more than minimum one month maximum three month uh, undergo the, the training then only uh, he knows how to construct the biogas plant you can see the biogas plant uh, how construction is going on this this plant is 60 meter capacity biogas plant so we can go for one cubic meter so depend upon size there is a measurement is there we have to follow on that one and to be constructed but uh, suppose uh, any engineer cannot construct it. if they say we give the dimension i can construct it cannot construct it because this is a very tricky job uh, everything uh, because it uh, outer slurry uh, tank you can see it here the working method that outer slurry tank is one third of digester uh, gas holder volume uh, so based on that uh, it has designed suppose many of uh, um, masons they go for uh, inches feet like that but if you go for inches feet it will not work you have to go for metric system uh, meter centimeter like that so whatever measurement is that the meter centimeter you have to go for that and to be constructed otherwise uh, if is little bit measurement changes also that gas uh, gas and there will be any opening will be there if you not run it properly that opening also gas will not remain there or gas will remain there that outer slurry will not come out so this will be a lot of procedure uh, process is there and another one uh, depend upon the soil if you go for uh, clay soil you have to do the uh, uh, good uh, foundation otherwise many uh, many goes for without uh, they will not check the uh, bearing capacity of the soil if you go for uh, ordinary soil good bearing capacity soil no problem if you go for uh, uh, like clay soil you have to do the additional foundation otherwise what will happen after some time the crack will happen uh, because of the crack the gas will escape so a lot of uh, things are there and many places uh, they say the plant is not working at all because of they are not maintained uh, this type of uh, thing they will simply they will blame the technology the technology is uh, under percentage uh, successful technology uh, whenever we construct the biogas plant we uh, suppose uh, we are the voluntary organization we will ask the people we want or what uh, don't want suppose people uh, uh, suddenly they purchase a two cow say they don't want they want to construct the biogas plant so after some time they will sell the biogas plant uh, so best sell the cow then they will uh, biogas will be ideal and another one uh, some of uh, people they will uh, some mischief also will happen in government side but uh, based on that uh, we have to see uh, we have to convince the people first if you are going for this type of plan so you will get gas and you will get uh, enriched manure also you will get it like that if you after convince only you have to consider the biogas plant otherwise if you consider the biogas plant people not understanding how to maintain it so otherwise this plant become failure then they will not blame the uh, agency they will blame the only technology so the biogas technology is failure like that only they will, uh, simply they will say because they are not understanding the technology uh, these are the thing uh, right side i have written uh, suppose if you go for one cubic meter biogas plant how much um, uh, uh, bricks are required cements are required like that and left side this is a dimension what are the dimension a b c d they have mentioned in that diagram and another one uh, if we have cow depend upon the cow the capacity will vary suppose if we go for one cubic meter capacity uh, 25 kg of cow dung is required if 25 kg of cow dung means uh, the cow will give 10 kg of cow dung uh, if you go for uh, 25 kg of cow dung means you, you have to have two cow on calf like that suppose uh, we you have to ask the uh, people uh, that cows going for a stall feeding uh, going for grazing or stall feeding if it goes for grazing that uh, cow dung will, um, amount of cow dung will be reduced 
so what you have to do uh, we have to make it uh, how much kavdang is there first you have to check up uh, otherwise uh, what will happen uh, you will uh, feeding it more or you will get less gas before digestion that uh, uh, the, that kavdang will come out so these are the problems happen and uh, whenever we design the biogas plant whenever if you go for the goshala so we have to ask the uh, people how many cows are there like this so if they say 100 cows so 100 into 10 kg about 1000 kg so divided by 25 for, for one km gas people uh, for 25 kg of covering is required so the about 40 km of biogas plant you have to install it so if you go for 40 km uh, there is a tamarul is there if you go, one km gas gives 0.43 kg of lpg equivalent to so one km of uh, biogas equivalent to 430 gram of lpg so you have to calculate it suppose if you go for 40 km means about 16 kg or 17 kg about 17 kg of Uh, LPG cylinder uh, one uh, cylinder can be saved about 17 kg of uh, LPG can be saved like that you can calculate it. Then afterwards what we did uh, second thing this is a wind cap model. We were trying to get the nard up kapad. There is there is a, a voluntary organization called uh, kapad uh, government side voluntary organization called kapad. They will give funding uh, to the uh, voluntary organization. so we together we uh, developed that wind cap model wind cap model nothing but like dinabund model so what happened we have to have um, uh, bamboo reaper instead of brick doom we will go for bamboo reaper so this will reduce the cost so wherever that bamboo is cheaper very simple method we have to make it a reaper and we have to make a dome shape whatever the size is there we have to, with the help of Uh, 6 mm seven rod we have to make a uh, round and uh, we uh, and uh, like uh, like any bu- bucket that um, uh, people will do it now like uh, um, uh, this bamboo reaper uh, uh, basket like that you have to make it then uh, we have to plaster it in the inside and outside so this is a wind cap model wherever uh, uh, hilly area this type of plant is good this is a ferrosement method uh, ferrosement method two way we can do it one is we can make a without mold we can do it if you go for without mold uh, ferrosement uh, dome uh, then the thickness will be, will be going higher side if you go for with the mold the thickness will be you can 1 uh, cm uh, so always going uh, with the mold only is the best option so here we are doing both the way Uh, without mold, with the mold, you have shown it. So the ferrosement model also is good. We can save the cost, and there will not be any crack. Uh, there is no need of plastering also. Same thing will be. Suppose we go for uh, brick construction, we have to go for two uh, type, two times plastering. But if when you go for ferrosement uh, dome shape, there is no need of going for uh, two times uh, plastering. So this this itself uh, works as a plastering. And um, so what I told you, you know, this one cubic meter capacity biogas plant, 25 kg of carbon, 3 to 4 percent. So for one cubic meter equal to one cylinder, you can uh, get, uh, you can calculate it. Because one cubic meter of gas equal to 0.43 kg of LPG. If you cal, if you convert it into 30 days, if you calculate it into 30 days, 30 into 0 of uh, 430 grams, how much will come? About 13 kg, uh, about 14 kg or so will come, depend upon the Season, summer season or winter season. So, uh, if you go for to, if you have to two cows in the home, you can go for one kilometer capacity biogas plant. Uh, these are the some uh, the technical things are there. Suppose if you go for uh, 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 constructing the biogas plant, uh, so we start to collect the air itself, uh, cow dung, uh, uh, cow dung, and you have to mix it with uh, within two three days because uh, initial charging will be a lot of cow dung is required. And you have to mix it with the water. One is to one or one point two five like that. Uh, here, uh, here we are showing it like that. And another one, uh, we can connect the toilet also in that one. Uh, so always we go for uh, uh, different type of uh, toilets. One is septic tank method, leach pit method, uh, and uh, another one uh, eco sanitation. So there are so many methods are there. But here uh, only you have to give the inspection chamber. There is no need of uh, 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 septic tank, leach pit, and all. So directly can be connected with the uh, that digester. So this is the thing we are uh, showed in the picture. 
actually when you go for uh, septic tank method is not very uh, advisable with the septic tank uh, the uh, it is not good it is it, it will spoil the environment because within 2 3 years it will become fill it will not uh, that waste will not get digested very fast so we have to throw it in the uh, any field so from there flies and mosquitoes will spread another method is uh, leach pit method that water uh, that uh, mud will absorb the water side uh, mud will absorb the water whatever the solid portion will uh, reduce the volume so the uh, leach pit method is advisable for uh, where that uh, water level will be more than 10 feet below the 10 feet so that type of uh, area uh, this uh, leach pit is advisable and leach pit will not uh, it will take more time to uh, get fill compared to uh, this uh, septic tank method septic tank use method is not good and uh, uh, leach pit method is good and another one more than that this uh, biogas method is uh, very good because we the cost also we can save it we will not consider the uh, leach pit or uh, uh, this uh, uh, septic tank so directly it can be connected and whatever the slurry comes outside uh, there will not be any smell and all because of the bacteria reaction it will be converted into the good bacteria so the slurry water slurry comes outside uh, there will not be any flies and mosquitoes you will uh, get uh, uh, very good uh, manure out of that so this is the slurry actually vehan bakidra uh, only was uh, uh, telling about uh, slurry this whatever outlet slurry whatever biogas outlet slurry is and uh, this is very good uh, manure uh suppose if we go for cow dung the cow dung uh, npk content will be less compared to uh, last one you can see the biogas manure the bgm here shown it so there is uh, some some place a uh, five or ten times uh, more uh, advantage than uh, cow dung so this is uh, whatever the slurry comes outside if you do the value added product uh, uh, in case of uh, cow, vermicomposting if you go for cow dung cow dung vermicomposting or biogas slurry uh, whatever comes outside na uh, slurry uh, vermicompost if the uh, the slurry vermicompost is uh, uh, better than cow dung and another one uh, panjakavya if you go for the panjakavya also uh, we tried on all the experiment instead of cow dung if you go for uh, uh, this slurry so that microbes uh, portion will be uh, very good and it gives very good result and the third one is azola this azola vegan uh, the kendra uh, only developed the sheet method what you are seeing the sheet method uh, vegan the kendra only developed it nowadays many uh, all over india people are using it uh, this, uh, this uh, the same sheet method and if we give to the cow cow will give 20% uh, milk production more milk production and the density of the milk also increases if we give to the pig pig uh, 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 it weight is increases this is more protein content this uh, poor man uh, spirulina like that also we used to say uh, so these are the thing if you go to the hen hen uh, egg will become red you can say that organic egg in kerala and all they said it organic egg so instead of cow dung uh, uh, you have to mix it with cow dung this uh, for cultivating azola we have to mix it little bit cow dung and uh, mud local mud uh, we have to mix it then you have to put it in the azola so instead of cow dung if you add it to the celery then that uh, growth of azola will be very faster so these are the three uh, thing we did it uh, this is a comparison of uh, uh, biogas manure and urea um, there is no side effect everybody knows it uh, no side effect so we did it all the equipment and we uh, got the award uh, ashran award in the year of 2006 So, what, whenever we uh, talk about organic farming, first we say about biogas plant only. So, from biogas plant to uh, this, uh, we'll use the gas for uh, cooking purpose. Whatever slurry comes from the slurry can be used uh, the for farming. Actually, uh, many says wet slurry is good or dry slurry is good. Always the wet slurry is very good because the more nitrogen content will be there, more ammonia content will be there. So, we have to uh, use it directly in the wet uh, wet slurry. Uh, to the field so uh, it gives very good result and uh, uh, we are try- we are working on the last 35 years so we are uh, doing it many ashrams and uh, uh, this farmers and all 
so it gives very good result on that so this is the uh, um, uh, kitchen waste based biogas plant so always we says uh, uh, first we talked about the uh, uh, cow dung waste uh, biogas plant uh, cow dung waste plant is uh, uh, is good for uh, uh, this cow dung only but this is the kitchen waste based biogas plant here we say this is a five in one solution uh, five in one solution means uh, uh, one of our, we are uh, that waste this is for kitchen and vegetable waste so we are disposing waste one thing uh, second one is we get the gas <coughs> the third one is uh, we get very good manure outer slurry is the very good manure fourth one is uh, uh, suppose if you throw the uh, waste automatically that methane gas it produces it goes to the atmosphere so we know uh, is compared to carbon dioxide these are the greenhouse gases is compared to carbon dioxide is 23 times dangerous so what we can do what we are doing it we are uh, uh, instead of throwing outside it goes to the atmosphere we are arresting that gas we are using for the uh, thermal purpose and the fifth one is uh, we can save the cost because when you are nowadays the uh, lpg stove lpg gas also 1000 rupees and we save the cost so that's why we say the five in one solution uh, in that one and another one uh, many companies are coming out this is our model is secretary model we always we say this plant is only for cow dung uh, kitchen waste plant only so this is not a cow dung based biogas plant like uh, for cow dung this is not uh, um, good for cow dung based uh, for we should feed the cow dung in that one so you know, one time only we have to feed the cow dung after that there is a, we should not feed the cow dung in that plant because this digester volume is very less but whenever you talk about earlier the dinamond model kvac model this uh, digester size is very big it is designed for cow dung only but in the cow, in uh, the kvac model and dinamond model we can uh, put kitchen waste but in this model this is the portable model in this model we cannot uh, feed the cow dung uh, in uh, in in this uh, model this is the chemistry uh, uh, when you know it this is a uh, complex organic substance to simple organic substance and uh, you know, it become acid and it become biogas the, actually this uh, these are the um, chemistry of the biogas plant so there are two type of uh, bacteria facultative uh, 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 anaerobes and uh, obligate anaerobes the, the first stage is the complex organic substance and the simple organic substance we can keep it in the outside you can give the aeration treatment also first uh, two stages then afterwards we can bring into the uh, aerobic stage we can uh, work on that this is that uh, two types of model uh, which is developed uh, kendra so there are many organizations also they developed the biogas plant uh, this is a portable model biogas plant this is a fixed model biogas plant you can see the our model uh, how we are installing it <clears throat> this is fiber method frb model we have mold in that one uh, for that so we are uh, we can uh, per day we, in the mold we can take five six plant per day each mold so this is the uh, how we are installing it we are, we are given in that one so first we are removing the gas holder uh, uh, this is black color uh, gas holder actually always we have to go for black color gas holder only because this uh, we have to keep it in the open area and uh, direct to the sunlight we have to keep it because this uh, temperature should be uh, 40 degree uh, celsius so because of, because of that that always the drum should be in black and color so black color only is absorb the more heat that other material will be there so we have to install the outlet uh, pipe and uh, outlets this is the uh, fifth one is slurry uh, drain suppose uh, if you want to shift the plant to one place to another place then we can remove the slurry drain and um, and uh, we can shift the plant we see the water jacket model so if you want to remove the water uh, uh, side water we see the sixth one is that uh, wall will be there uh, end cap will be there if you remove the end cap we can remove the water and this is the uh, slurry cow dung slurry we have to mix it with the one is to one cow dung and we have to remove the fiber portion and we have to feed it so like that we are feeding it 
side portion we uh, this is the water we are filling it so after filling the water we are uh, putting um, gas holder and uh, last one is that is a uh, gas outlet so we are putting gate valve in the uh, uh, in, uh, in gas outlet this is the pipeline we are making it here this gas uh, this gas uh, is slightly moisture will be there so after some time after one week or two week it will become a water farm so we have to remove that water uh, very lit little bit water will come or really uh, uh, 10 ml water will come after one week or two week depend upon the climate so we have to remove that water otherwise it will be block the gas so this is the method this uh, stove is different type of stove actually uh, lpg stove the burner uh, burner hole will be smaller size but in this case the burner hole will be bigger in size so uh, this calorific value also is less compared to lpg so we have to go for uh, this uh, different type of biogas uh, stove for this so this is the uh, thing here uh, in case of cow dung based biogas plant this methane percentage will be less but in case of kitchen waste and vegetable waste this methane percentage will be more than 75 percentage 72 uh, more than 70 percentage we can say so more than 70 percentage so because we we avoid to we will close the uh, air vent so we have to give the we have to give the counter weight and uh, this is a inlet funnel type of arrangement you have to give otherwise it will spread the waste will spread everywhere then you will not the plant will not look good so you see the uh, um, method we have to install it so initially you have to put cow dung so for uh, after uh, mixing with the water uh, we have to uh, feeding it it will take uh, one month to uh, uh, get the microorganism family so it will take uh, one 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 month time you have to wait for uh, feeding the plant so initially what you have to initial 2 kg of waste you have to put it afterward 3 kg 4 kg slowly only you have to increase the waste suppose for 1 km biogas plant uh, 5 kg of uh, kitchen waste enough kitchen and vegetable waste enough so what we have to do uh, uh, if you go for 1 km plant initially you have to charge a little uh, uh, 2 kg then 3 kg like that after 50 week suppose the uh, winter season you have to go for one week later so uh, because of uh, heat heat is very important temperature is very important So because of temperature only we are taking one week more time so this is the uh, um, thing we are tabular we are used to give it this is the advantage of kitchen waste plant this is waste disposal uh, you can say hygienic and eco friendly this this plant is good for uh, rural and urban areas earlier when we were talking about biomethanation technology uh, biogas technology always we say the rural area only but whenever you, whenever we talk about uh, people also local people whenever we talk about biogas technology many may not like it in a local area rural area whenever we talk about biomethanation bio technology people like it. both are same technology only but biomethanation means uh, they say uh, different type of technology to be good so by whenever we talk about biogas people will feel biogas means cow dung it may not be the, they will uh, some negative aspect they will take carry carry it out So the, uh, because of that, we say always biomethanation technology. Uh, biogas and biomethanation technology, there is no difference. But uh, people, uh, some rural people, takes uh, some uh, variation. Um, this is a aesthetic look, and uh, this is a portable model. We can have different uh, design and uh, uh, capacities. It's easy to handle. So you can shift it one place to another place, and we can transport it in the vehicle. at the time we can uh, transport in the tempo 10 uh, uh, biogas plant in uh, open tempo we can transport it and another one uh, for the portable model up to 6 meter capacity we can go but with the fixed model we can go any amount of capacity so these are the design we uh, did it uh, first how we did it the plastic we tried we tried a ferrous mount also uh, gas wall and digester Uh, but it uh, the fresh because of uh, uh, this more counterweight it is not rising so slowly slowly we switch to our and this is the final design we made it uh, like this last one is the final design our design uh, here we say the cooked waste rice chapati dal sabji 
uh, is good uh, for it gives the gas. Whatever the carbohydrate material is there, it gives very good gas. Chapati also it gives very good gas. Dal sabji, everything is good, uh, gives very good gas. And non vegetarian waste also it gives very good waste. Actually, uh, we have one place near Narcoil, we have given one, uh, one man, uh, uh, they, he, uh, he puts the indigestion only, that uh, chicken uh, broiler, uh, after waste comes in, he puts in that waste, he gets the gas. So, he, the plant is work, works only on the uh, indigestion only. So, the, another one is the vegetable waste. The vegetable waste, uh, pumpkin will give very less gas, potato will give the more gas. And flour mill waste also we say sorted waste, we are collecting it, we will use it. And the starch material, tapioca, maize, grams also it gives the gas. Uh, this is a, uh, depend upon the energy only. Whenever you talk about the physics, we talk about the energy. Uh, whatever energy remains, suppose if you, whenever we take that food, we will get the energy. So suppose we are not taking food, that energy remains. So if you, if you put put that waste into the biogas fund, that energy converts into the gas form. So we are using it. So what are the material gives very good energy? It it converts into the very good gas. So like that we can take as a thumb rule. This is the different type of uh, material cake. You can say pungan, neem, jatropha, mauva, rubber, cotton seed cake. This also gives very good gas. Suppose the pungan. Uh, so we use for pungan oil, we can use for some other purpose. And neem oil also we can use for some other purpose. The neem cake directly, uh, we used to put it in the field only. Uh, for bio, uh, uh, it will work fertilizer, uh, fertilizer and pesticide. So here instead of directly if you're putting fertilizer and pesticide, we can, uh, we can use it through biogas plant. So you will get the gas and uh, whatever the cell comes outside, na, you can uh, you can use it for plants. So this is that uh, thing, cakes can be also, we can be used. And uh, you can try in different type of uh, agriculture. Yes. yes. Uh, the water hygiene, the ipomia, seaweed also can be used. But the, all this uh, thing, uh, uh, problem is uh, fiber content. This fiber only, it gives more problem. After some time, uh, it, give, it makes us a yes, scum formation. It will be a, like uh, a layer, full of top will be full of layer, then uh, the plant will not work properly after some time. So instead of that, we have to use, uh, remove the uh, fiber portion, only leach it only, we have to put it in the biogas plant. Then only the biogas plant works. So many fields, uh, many places they go for uh, with the fiber uh, material, they're feeding it. If you go for uh, fiber material, the plant, after some time, the plant will become, uh, get some problem. Uh, scum formation, and the gas will not produce. Or the methane uh, content, uh, methane uh, bacteria will be very less, and uh, acidic bacteria will be more. It will become uh, acidity. So like that, we will have to face the problem. So these are the uh, waste, different type of waste. Uh, cooked waste uh, gives 5 kg, uh, 5 kg waste uh, uh, enough. This also varies. Some waste, suppose if you go for uh, only uh, rice waste and uh, 2 kg, 3 kg enough. If you go for, uh, this is mixed waste, what we say is mixed waste. Uh, 5 kg of waste uh, in, uh, uh, gives the wood of gas. And vegetable waste up to 10 kg, you have to go, depend upon the waste. If you have more uh, potato or uh, tu uh, tuber varieties there, it, uh, it, um, it, it gives very good gas. And non edible oil cakes also it gives good gas. Grain also it gives gas. Apart from that, tea, tea leaf waste. So after after uh, tea powder waste is enough, that also gives very good gas. Uh, kanji, kanji is very good, gives very good gas. So after boiling the rice, the water, the water comes outside. That water gives very good gas. And uh, if you boil the any uh, vegetable or non vegetarian waste, that water uh, boil, after boiling, if you, uh, that water is enough, if you feed it, it gives very good gas. And uh, another one, uh, uh, this bakery item also, it gives very good gas. Bakery item. Uh, because this is a more, uh, 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 this sugar type of material is there. It gives uh, very good gas. 
actually i have we have uh, given uh, the our model another model what is the difference actually our model the inlet pipe is in the center so what will happen other model always the inlet pipe will be the side so what will happen uh, when we put the waste in that uh, digester uh, it will be remain in one place only if you go for uh, inlet in the side portion it uh, that waste will be in the one uh, one particular portion only so what will happen that particular bacteria only wherever the surrounding bacteria only will react uh, it gives the gas but in case of the succussion model we are keeping uh, inlet in the center so what will happen when you put the waste uh, it will spread everywhere all the portion so when we uh, go all the portion uh, what happen uh, the reaction will be very fast because all all bacteria will react always we say we have to rotate the plant like that. two times you have to rotate the plant once you feed the material you have to rotate the two times in the plant it works uh, then what will happen is that waste will go everywhere so all the bacteria reacts it gives the good gas that's why we are our arrangement the inlet will be in the center uh, always side will be very less efficiency and um, our model uh, the u shape pipe we are given actually in cowden based plant uh, uh whenever uh, uh, dinabund model and the kvc model what happened when you put the cowden uh, after getting the gas it will not become lightweight material but in case of kitchen waste uh, once you feed the waste what will happen now? once it uh, after digestion if you get the gas it will become lightweight material it will be in the liquid form it goes to up only so uh, that should be a given u shaped outer pipe so whatever that solid portion will remain bottom but the liquid portion whatever after uh, decomposing astronic stage and methanogenic stage after methanogenic stage it will become lightweight material it will go to the up and we uh, through u shaped outer pipe it will come out but there is no need of partition wall and all but when you go for cowden based biogas plant you have to go for uh, partition wall and all definitely you have to go for partition wall if you go for if you are not going for partition wall it will be short circuit will take place that whatever you waste if you put it automatically that waste will go out immediately into the outer pipe uh, this is a guide pipe support pipe you have to give it because of guide pipe only that drum will not move uh, tilting it and will not go one place to another place so uh, guide pipe support pipe is very important for biogas plant then only it go moves up and down and always we uh, this is the uh, arrangement we are given for shifting so for any problem is all, there also we can if you want to remove the completely slurry we can remove it and we can uh, again we can fill it with the cowden so for removing water only uh, slurry only we have given this type of uh, arrangement many times I, we are uh, not interested in the balloon type model uh, because the balloon type model uh, we have to keep it outside sometimes that uh, rats also uh, uh, cut uh, uh, that also cut the gas wall because of that if you do the anything the gas will not remain uh, if you do the like um, puncture and if, if it happen puncture through like um, any puncture shop if you fit it it will not work at all so that's only we go for fiber method the fiber method means that rat will not uh, cut the uh, fiber uh, portion is it because of this fiber frb uh, material that will not cut the thing and uh, plastic also we have may have problem but the uh, frb will not have any problem and uh, suppose in case of balloon method we have to give a calorific value less if you go for a color less calorific value we have to give a weight if you give the weight it goes another portion this is the advantage of this biogas plant this digestion volume is less uh, unit pipe works as is there are so much flow of uh, material no tilting of gas holder so this is the i don't know just uh, uh, color we are given green color we can change the color also uh, if you want uh, red you can give red blue also we can give so uh, if you uh, this is the mold we will get very good shining portion if somebody comes to the home also nobody understand this is a biogas plant because we have given water jacket you will not get any smell in that one because the slurry is uh, coming outside it will not be any smell and another one you can uh, do the checking also many people many people say uh, sir uh, suddenly become acidity acidity this plant become acidity suddenly like that 
So this will not get immediately acidity. What you have to do, you have to always you have to check up the slurry. The slurry, uh, whatever slurry comes outside, you should not be any smell at all. Uh, flies should not sit, and uh, one or two flies can sit, but so lot of flies should not sit. Mosquitoes should not sit, and there should not be any smell. If the smell is not there in the outer slurry, your plant is good. You can have some rule. So uh, what happened? Uh, many uh, some people say they will do the overfeeding. So once you do the overfeeding, happen so automatically that the slurry will get a lot of smell, and we will understand you are overfeeding it. So once if you understand if you are doing the overfeeding, then you have to stop the uh, feeding the plant. Then uh, you have to stop the feeding the plant. You have to wait sometimes. We should not feed anything. And whatever gas comes, you have to use it. Suppose uh, it will be more acidity form, then you have to uh, uh, put uh, this uh, calcium powder, mix it with water. You have to put it, and another one. Other way, otherwise, uh, if it is less uh, um, uh, acidity formation is there, then you can put more water also in that one without adding calcium. Uh, actually, what happens now? Whenever we go for biogas plant. Uh, people will not tell exactly uh, capacity of the plant, exactly waste availability. We should not do the overfeeding the plant. Suppose if the plant capacity is 5 kg of waste, we should not overfeeding the plant in, uh, in 7 kg, 8 kg. Underfeeding is the no problem. So you can underfeed it, uh, no problem, but overfeeding is always the problem. That's only uh, whenever we people are asking us, uh, we have to go for bigger size plant, we are having waste, we have to go for bigger size plant. So whenever we go for bigger size plant, people always will tell, will not tell that. Suppose the message, message in charge is there, he will not tell the correct amount of waste. Always he will tell the less amount of waste only. Because once if we go for less amount of waste, based on that, we, if we design the biogas plant, less amount of waste, then after some time, if we put more waste, then uh, uh, the plant become failure. So, uh, so they will say, always they say the technology is failure only, but the technology is not failure. This is the uh, man-made man -made error only, everything. So we have, whenever we have to design the plant, we have to see the thing, future development. Uh, suppose uh, if you, suppose we have the hostel, uh, 1,000 people are there. After some time, it becomes 1,500 uh, people are going to take food. So then based on that, you have to design the uh, plant. So al always we should not design the plant uh, is lower capacity. Always higher capacity only, based on higher capacity only, Best only you have to design the plant. Okay, this is the model uh, 0 0.25 cubic meter to 60 meter uh, capacity. We are having to portable model. Whether it was 0 0.25 cubic meter, we are used to give for uh, many uh, research centers. So people wanted to do the, some research on uh, uh, this model. So we go for uh, 0.25 cubic meter for uh, research method. For 60 meter plant, suppose people are having smart hotels. If they have 25 kg of waste per day, then we, we say we go for the 60 meter plant. So this is a 60 meter plant. A smaller size plant also is there. Uh, this is a 60 meter biogas plant, portable model. We have given many places. And another one, whenever we uh, uh, talk about uh, um, biogas plant uh, for in the construction, uh, very tough. The dynamo the model I already told you it takes more than two months. Uh, two months of training is required. Then only the mason can construct it. That ordinary mason cannot construct the biogas plant. But we made our uh, this model uh, within a half a day. We can construct the biogas plant like that. So you can see the how we are doing it in the field. So this is the uh, we are leveling the soil. It is above the ground level only. We can keep it in the terrace also. We can construct it in the terrace also. You see this man, uh, how you are doing it. We have to fill in the area and uh, keep in the bricks. You have to uh, see uh, if you go for one, depend upon capacity of plant, one kilometer means like that you can go. See, he is uh, first layer of bricks, uh, you are keeping it. Suppose uh, your bearing capacity of the soil very less, if you go for clay soil, you have to give additional strength to the soil. Suppose the broken bricks is there, uh, or broken concrete is there, you have to strengthen the soil, then you have to go for uh, brick construction. So two layers of bricks, you have to uh, construct it. 
afterward uh, there will be four rings uh, cement rings in the market two bigger rings two smaller rings uh, two bigger rings uh, uh, suppose if we go for four feet ring this uh, another one is three and a half feet uh, ring three feet six inches rings we go for inner rings you see we are keeping in the first layer of uh, outer ring and uh, one is uh, smaller rings we are keeping it another is bigger ring uh, we are keeping it smaller ring uh, this is the four rings uh, uh, to keep it this is the outlet pipe what we showed in the outlet pipe this is the outlet slurry pipe uh, we are inserting anyway so you can see it it is the smaller pipe you can see in the first picture you can see the smaller pipe the smaller pipe is a water removal pipe uh, that also you have to put it in the that opening we have given in that you have to uh, keep it this is a guide pipe uh, we are keeping the guide pipe a level uh, circumstance everything you have to see it you have to uh, some uh, more concrete you have to give uh, so guide pipe because it will give it gives more strength and um, flooring also you have to make it then this center you have to check up because regular masonry uh, check you have to plumb you have to check up level you have to check up so all this thing you have to check up otherwise that uh, uh, ring will go up and down so all this thing you have to check up so like that you have to make a plant so this is the biogas plant is ready uh, this is cement ring whatever available in local area you can construct it very easy method only construction is very easy method semi skilled mason also can construct semi skilled labor also can construct so we have to put cow dung mixing with the water you have to put it side uh, you have to put uh, water this is a gas holder what we say is not the inlet this gas holder is inlet uh, pipe is in the center this is our model design we have got patent i already told you our model got patent uh, this this uh, inlet pipe is in the center so we are uh, in, we are in, we have to insert it this is a model by uh, the standard very simple method uh, within half a day we can construct it uh, if you are not going for cement ring instead of that uh, uh, fiber ring within two hours we can construct it why we uh, made it this model you can go for portable model also so the, at the time government was uh, giving subsidy for only uh, permanent uh, fixed model only so that's only we went for this type of uh, cement ring and uh, but if you go for cement ring the cost will reduce it because uh, uh, the fiber material always very costly only because nowadays the petroleum product goes up the resin uh, for frb resin uh, mat also the cost goes as up the resin cost uh, two years back it will be 100 rupees we, when you used to purchase 100 rupees resin and uh, nowadays the resin is 200 rupees uh, rate so it will become double time because of frb uh, biogas plant the cost goes very high uh, that's only we sell it slightly costly 25000 rupees we are selling it for one kilometer model because the cost goes that much uh, uh, manufacturing cost itself it goes that much cost so uh, this this is the cement rings available interlocking cement rings also is available so what we can do you can go for this type of interlocking rings also then the side leakage will be there. suppose we keep it one ring down one ring up in between the gap is there na that gap also through, through that the leakage may happen uh, sometimes will it happen afterward it will become that also it will be closed so avoiding that leakage you can go for uh, interlocking ring this is a fiber cement we are we used to do uh, a lot of experiment on the biogas plant actually we are do that field level experiment and always when we go for any doubt is that we go for iits many iits we ask them but the chennai iit iit has helped a lot and we get some fund from dst department of science and technology new delhi and um, and the nabar also uh, we used to get it because we have to try it in the field level nabar also helped us a lot so we thank we have to thank everybody because with uh, the technology help uh, iit iit chennai only uh, they said 
because we were when we were talking about uh, bacteria this, this uh, plant works on based on the bacteria only so the, when you talk about bacteria um, uh, we are this methane how to improve the methanogenic bacteria so all the question comes because the astrogenic bacteria uh, it develops very fast but the methanogenic bacteria is very uh, important uh, one so if you if you increase the methanogenic bacteria then the plant size can be reduced uh that's only we are working on that but for that purpose like uh, uh when he says plastic uh, is good you can go for a wire plastic wire that the bacteria will remain in uh, the internet the bacteria will remain more in that one is it so a lot of uh, uh consultation we did it so finally only we have come out with that product this is the uh, fixed model this also we tried for the government only the fiber model is good this also inner wall outer wall this also looks fixed model so the government uh, for government purpose we said this model also uh, this is a fixed model uh, fixed model fiber wall so the bottom we are constructing cement uh, brick masonry so because of it, this is a fixed model like the we uh, we can keep it in the terrace also you see you can see the terrace we can tie in the terrace uh, fixed model the fiber wall digester with the gas filter This is a three cubic meter model. If you increase the size, uh, slightly, if you increase the size, it will become two cubic meter. If you increase the size, increase the size, it will become three cubic meter. So like that, uh, we are done it. Uh, actually, what happens now? Uh, this uh, when you go for one cubic meter model and two cubic meter model, so you ca the cost will always will be reduced because of geometrical shape. Uh, when you go for a cowden based plant, also if you go for one cubic meter model, if you go for two cubic meter model. You will not be supposed for one cubic meter under twenty five thousand rupees expenditure means the two cubic meter plant will not be become fifty thousand uh, rupees. It will be for forty thousand or thirty five thousand thousand only only because if you increase the slightly dia automatically uh, that uh, volume of the uh, digester will go higher. So like that also here also slightly will increase the dia then in that uh, volume will go and gas or the volume also will go here. This is the most recently passed away MLA, Naukil MLA. We installed this house also. Actually, we tried a uh, fish tank also in, out of that. So the water jacket is there. In the water jacket, if you increase the water jacket, when you put the fish, then that we can use as a fish tank. The digester will be in the digester, inside the digester. But if we increase the gas holder, uh, sorry, uh, this uh, water jacket, then we can use it for uh, uh cultivating uh, fish fish culture but uh, we found uh, all the birds will stand there and will uh, uh, catch away the our fishes because only two feet height only now they go very easy inside and they catch the fish if you go for uh, more depth uh, for uh, uh, fish culture also is possible this is a model, uh, portable cowdung model. Actually, we tried a one cubic meter portable cowdung model, not two at all. Many goes for two cubic meter also, but two cubic meter under is not uh, viable. So this is the thing. Uh, the different stage of cowdung uh, portable plant. This is a mold. You can see the mold. The red color is a mold. Uh, in the mold, we are, we are uh, removing the plant. When you go for the mold, you will get very shining finish. If you, uh, you can see the first one, uh, top one, uh, uh, the wire strand, there is no shining. But when you go for the mold, you will get very good shining. Uh, people also like this type of shining only. We tried a uh, portable cowdung based biogas plant. The biomass based biogas plant also we tried. So the biomass based biogas plant is very tricky one and we have to crush it. So we have tried because here, this biomass based biogas plant, we have to, uh, it is required more digester volume. The slowly we have given more digester volume. You can see it, but the gas water will be, say, one cubic meter. But we have given additional uh, digester size. You can see the square size is enough. This is additional digester uh, size. And uh, we have, from there also, we have given uh, gas, it will be connected to the gas water like that. We have given through pipeline. You can see the flexible hose is there. Uh, like that, but here in the case of the batch type, this uh, portable type, uh, uh, it takes a lot of time for uh, getting the digestion. 
that's only uh, we are given more than uh, but we can go for smaller size uh, only if we go for bigger size it requires a lot of volume and other than we have to crush it suppose whatever that uh, uh, dry waste leaves are there we have to make it in powder form uh, some other way we have to सब्जेक्ट कौन सा सब्जेक्ट में कितना थ्योरी में कितना प्रैक्टिकल में कितना टोटल अच्छा ठीक है पार्टिसिपेंट्स प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक नेम ओके पार्टिसिपेंट्स म्यूट ऑल योर माइक प्लीज लेक्चर इज गेटिंग डिस्टर्ब डॉक्टर मंदा की नहीं प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक ओके जी this is a batch type method actually when you go for uh, whatever i showed you know this uh, uh, fixed model biogas plant then fixed model biogas plant itself we can try it uh, batch type uh, uh, biomass based biogas plant actually uh, this is batch method means one time only you have to feed it then uh, after digestion you have to remove the uh, waste these are the leaves waste so all this thing you have to mix it with the cow dung and we have to uh, put it in the Uh, digester this is above the ground level only everything is above the ground level only mm, uh, we have to uh, fix it and we have to slightly to mix it with the cow dung we have to fill it in the side you have to put uh, water and we have to uh, insert the dung so you have to wait for 15 days 20 days whatever the gas comes we will use it for our uh, uh, thermal purpose whatever is the, uh, after 15 days uh, 20 days we have to remove the entire slurry from the digester again you have to refill it so this is the batch method batch method is one batch or the second batch like that we have to feed the material in the batch method so initially i told about the types of biogas plant one is for feeding method one is for arrangement of gas holder another one is a method of feeding so this is the method of feeding so one, one time only feeding after you have to wait for 15 days then only it will be second feeding will be taking place and uh, we tried a different type of agricultural waste actually for biogas plant we are technical tie up with uh, um, tespur university uh, we are uh, having uh, uh, some research aspect we are also doing for uh, tespur university so we are doing a different type of agricultural waste uh, like um, uh, what type of, uh, this is juliflora pungamia co4 actually when we do it no, that uh, co4 it gives very good gas co4 uh, Uh, can be used as a pellet actually many people wanted uh, suppose if gas is not uh, waste is not available so what is the uh, uh, other uh, uh, remedy so we 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 are thinking about bring out pellet method suppose if, uh, if we give the plant the waste is not there you can go for this type of uh, pellet so the, the, in co4 we can try it because the co4 gives very good gas co4 with uh, other thing if we mix it we can make as a pellet so these are the thing so we are collecting it and we have to crush it we have to dry it and we have to crush it with a machine and uh, this is a powder form and you have to put it so this is the uh, and this is we are doing it uh, in apra for three the co4 is a very gives very good result we tried both the method uh, small size plant also bigger size plant also three plant we tried and uh, um, next one is bio toilet system so we are trying it in kanyakumari uh, 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 you can see the diagram uh, side all the railway uh, railways they are using the bio toilet system the bio toilet system nothing but biogas plant only so initially you have to put cow dung in that one mm-hmm. uh, cow dung means uh, we have to digest it slurry only we have to use it so whatever the slurry the uh, digested slurry when you put it in, in this one so automatically uh, the bacteria is forms so the bacteria uh, when the bacteria forms it uh, eats eats away all the solid portion it makes as a liquid portion so the same thing uh, it happens in the uh, uh, kitchen waste plant also so that whatever the slurry comes outside in the kitchen waste biogas plant that slurry also can be fed it into regular uh, separate tank suppose if anybody have seen a septic tank so the, you can feed the waste uh, this celery uh, the biogas celery outer celery na if you feed if you uh, uh, feed it through uh, toilet pan through toilet pan if you feed it na automatically your uh, um, this uh, bio toilet system it works so after some time na the solid portion will not be there at all 
So the first, there are three partition wall is there. The first partition wall, more solid portion will be there. Second partition will be, partition will be very less solid portion. The third will be only liquid format only. So it comes out, the cellar comes outside. So sorry, whatever that uh, liquid water comes outside, there will not be any smell at all. Because when you feed that uh, that outer slurry, whatever the outer slurry, that uh, biogas plant, that slurry can be used for a, your separate tank cleaner. So there is not a purchasing it in the market. There is will be available in the market. Uh, people will say you can purchase from us uh, uh, anaerobic bacteria. They say anaerobic you purchase from us anaerobic bacteria and uh, something inoculum. They say inoculum. You purchase from us inoculum like they, they say. So instead of that, you can if you keep it by kitchen waste biogas plant or cowden based biogas plant in your home, that slurry can be used as a inoculum of the biotiler system. So whosoever is there. Uh, in uh, who's are having septic tank in the home, they can try this type of method also. Monthly once you can use it, that uh, uh, that uh, kitchen waste slurry, outer slurry, you uh, can put it in the toilet pan, so it will work. So here you can try it. We are only the tying. We are, are given uh, uh, partition. Actually, that bio toilet system, they will close it in the square, but we are trying it into uh, gas. You can see the gas we collected. We are using it for uh, uh, our uh, a small kitchen, uh, our staff uh, make, preparing the tea. We are using it, but even then people doesn't like to take tea in that gas. They say, always say, this gas is not good, sir. We go for firewood only. We don't want, sir. We go for regular gas like that. Because there is a mental uh, condition. You can't change them. But they feel that this gas is from uh, no, Thailand gas only. We are using it. But now, Whatever we are saying, this is small only our thing. We are using in our toilet. You can see the toilet. People are using it. But this is only half kilometer size capacity. When you go for septic tank, under, we are go for bigger size. But it's half kilometer capacity only. Our office staffs are using it. But even then, what happened? The slurry comes outside and there is no smell at all. So in between, in between, we will put uh, our uh, our kitchen waste slurry, outlet slurry, and we will use to put it. So automatically, very good uh, manual we are uh, outlet uh, manual we are getting it. So this are the uh, bio toilet system we are trying it. So outside they try they will close the chamber, but here we use it for uh, gas purpose also. So this is the advantage of uh, economical benefit of one kilometer biogas plant. Uh, this are the advantage uh, economic benefit. Sorry. Uh, so nowadays the cylinder cost is very high. So you can see it. Um, commercial cylinder is very high. Uh, you can save. Suppose if you install the biogas plant, you can save the uh, within two years. You can save the cost. Uh, if you have a domestic cylinder, you can save within two years the cost. And another one, uh, whenever we talk about uh, service, people always they say if you feed the people, not poor people, not, that is only the service they say. But always we say that is not only the service. We feed the people, poor people. That is not the service. When you do the service for environment also, this is very good service. So instead of that, if we have a biogas plant in your home, when you start to feed the uh, uh, waste material, so automatically you can save the environment. Suppose we talk, somebody talks about environment, uh, saving the energy and all. So definitely they should have one biogas plant in your, your home. Uh, because of that, only uh, energy is saved and uh, methane gas will be arrested. So whatever waste is available in the home, so all the waste goes to uh, uh, this kitchen is our biogas plant, biomethanation plant, and uh, and we are saving the environment. And whenever we uh, feed the material, it goes to the bacteria only, the living beings. That also living beings, you know, they are feeding the uh, waste to the living beings. So that also live. So uh, like that, whenever uh, we tell, uh, whenever uh, I go for a class to, for uh, rural people, always I say that you are doing the service only. You are saving the environment. You are saving the planet. So you do, keep this type of plan in your home, not from us. If you purchase from us, not purchase from us, no meaning. Because we our service are not saying ours is not a, um, uh, ours is not a uh, um, business company. That's only we are selling, uh, we are giving the technology to many uh, NGOs. We are giving the technology. We are given uh, Karnataka technology to uh, 
one uh, one industry and we are given uh, kasi also up also we are given to one uh, industry uh, that they have uh, asola amid the biogas plant like that and um, uh, like that karnataka uh, uh, maharashtra like that many places we are given so people that not only the technology will spread very fast that's the way we are given technology and another one uh whenever we uh, give the plant to the uh, some uh, uh, local people they give the name they say some people they have the name of uh, rajati so whenever waste they goes to the kalyana mandapam somewhere na, they collect the waste suppose they go to the relation houses they will collect some waste whatever that uh, insects are there some suppose the atta is there insect is there they will bring that atta and they will put the uh rajati they say that i have daily today i given uh, collected waste i given to the rajati so this is like this is like like pet animal you have to keep this plant as a pet pet animal like goat like uh, cow like dog or like cat we have to keep this plant also as a pet animal only so then only like to uh, uh, it is like as a living being only uh, a lot of bacteria are there So we are feeding the plant. So like that, you have to uh, take uh, uh, motivation like that. So this is environment and health benefit. Uh, this is a decentralized way of disposal of waste. Actually, whenever uh, in uh, Chennai city, one time uh, last ten years back, uh, we, uh, there is a lot of problem of uh, disposing waste. So people were not collecting uh, that uh, panchayat, uh, sorry, municipality was we are not collecting the waste. What will do like that? There was no problem at that at a time. so many uh, large owners are called uh, then the municipal to help us to give the training so i went there i gave the training when uh, when uh, used to give the training at a time people used to ask how much area it required i say it requires uh, if you go for your waste is so much it is a 2 ton 3 ton you have to go for uh, 900 square foot area is required 1000 square foot area is required means they feel 4000 square foot means uh, you can uh, keep many uh, vehicle in that uh, parking area we can keep it like that but uh, you can if you see the uh, thing uh, suppose the uh, if it is in the city so uh, the what are the waste they are collecting it they have to dump it 30 km away from the uh, city uh, 40 km away from the city so what happened that the daily transport charges that are uh, 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 comes very high that's why we say that always we have to keep the plan decentralized way the like kerala government is all doing so you uh, that uh, village level or household level only waste only will collect it uh, suppose bigger portal uh, uh, center they have to uh, dispose uh, waste themselves so like that only if it comes some uh, the some uh, policy level decision comes na, then automatically everybody goes for this type of biogas plant otherwise what happens na, they will keep the waste in the ac room i saw uh, i went to one place uh, in uh, Uh, Chennai or no bigger uh, three-star hotel, where they keep the waste, then they will put it all the waste it in the plastic cover and they keep it in the AC room because they they don't want any smell. So that's why they keep it in the ground floor will be there. That is the ground floor is there. In that they have an AC room. All the waste goes in the plastic. Uh, all are all are filled with the plastic black color plastic cover and they put it in the AC room. So when vehicle comes, so they throw all the plastic cover. they are not throwing waste directly they are uh, dumping in uh, waste plastic cover also in that one so simply they throwing in the plastic or plastic or plastic cover then after 40 km they have to transport it after uh, uh one they have to dump it so because after dumping in that area will become uh, a spoil so like that only they, it happens but they are not finding out the way how to do it and all but nowadays in say, india this type of methods are coming in uh, maharashtra it comes pune uh, uh, mumbai and all they started to do go for biomethanation technology because it is a biomethanation technology and another one uh, many thing uh, uh, whenever we talk about uh, uh, composting they say the uh, vermi compost is best method other composting is best method. this method is the best that method best but in uh, in the all over world the biomethanation technology only the best method for disposing waste this fastest method of disposing the waste uh, in case of uh, uh, in case of uh, 
uh, when we composting it takes 75 days they said uh, two months time but it will take the uh, maximum three months time for uh, making as a compost so many municipality at all they are having when we compost method only they are not interested about biomethanation technology but in uh, in case of uh, biomethanation technology uh, within a day or within 10 days that waste become compost this is the fastest method of uh, decomposing method there is no other method in the world actually there is a uh, in, uh, uh, in the in the digester uh, when you go for 40 degree temperature it is a mesophilic bacteria uh, when you go for the uh, 55 degree temperature that is a thermophilic bacteria so if you go for the 55 degree temperature if you go for thermophilic bacteria if you keep this uh, the temperature uh, you have to maintain it uh, correctly then the thermophilic bacteria will be there it uh, decompose the waste very fast so that the thermophilic compost only thermophilic bacteria only they are developed in the foreign countries many countries they are using the thermophilic bacteria so like that if you in india also many places if you try it no if there solid waste management problem we can solve it so um, what we are saying um, this uh, for, uh, for for energy purpose the second thing can be always we say the energy is bonus only always the gas is the bonus main thing is you will get manure only important so the manure is important and uh, decomposing the waste is fastest method is uh, very important one for this biogas plant so this biogas plant uh, future also this is a very important technology and another one many uh, illiterate uh, people only comes for uh, this type of technology illiterate means they are not understanding technology they don't know about the scientific uh, thing how we to works and all but they are constructing the biogas plant simply and the spoil the uh, technology when it comes in the market they say uh, whatever we uh, uh, whatever they says na this work for kaudanga also this work for kitchen also, also like that they say so whatever the smaller size biogas plant our model i showed you na successor b so that model they say you can put kaudanga also you can put uh, kitchen also, also like that but uh, whenever the portable model comes smaller size comes always we says you should not put the uh, kaudanga in that one because this is a hydraulic retention time you say always we say hydraulic retention time that hydraulic retention time cow dung it takes 30 days suppose 25 i already told you the 20 25 kg of cow dung is required for uh, one cubic biogas plant then if you add 25 kg uh, 50 liters if you keep it 30 days hrt it will be 1500 liters so that the digest volume should be 1500 liters but in case of this kitchen waste model we keep only 600 liters because we have 5 kg versus 5 kg of uh, water so if you, if you mix it with 5 liters of water 10 liter if you for uh, if you give for uh, 60 days uh, hydraulic retention times it will be 600 liters only but when you go for uh, cow dung waste plant uh, for uh, uh, 1000 minimum 1500 uh, liter is required for one kg of gas but in case of kitchen waste it will be 500 liters of digester enough so what do they do now people uh, they want to sell their product they don't bother about the technology anything so they simply they go for uh, marketing only so they sell the plant they don't know so it will work cow dung also so but uh, it they sell it but whenever they are uh, asking us sir we want biogas plant we tell them you uh, first you attend the training they are not interested to attend the training why you to attend i am seeing the uh, youtube everything is there sir why you to attend no no sir without attending if you not understand the technology Uh, very difficult to maintain it afterwards you blame the technology you blame us also like that we used to say because what happens na once if they convince the technology how it works then only you have to give the plant so many places as soon as we install the plant na that gas will come based on the cow dung but gas will come once they see the gas na immediately they will put uh, they dump the waste immediately they dump the waste so what will happen to get uh, acidity formation immediately they will not wait for four weeks and immediately they will put the waste that's why always say small training is important or small awareness program also is important uh, before before opting for the biogas plant so then only the technology will become successful otherwise the technology will become failure only uh, many people are uh, in the market uh, coming without uh, telling the technology and many people feel uh, that is the mission only whenever uh, we give the biogas plant to two people the same plant if you give to the two plant people na so some uh, based on some uh, funding uh, we used to give then uh, the next to next house uh, two house will be there 
one lady they understand the technology she says correctly she will maintain the, her plant will be good another lady has she will install the plant she will get to become failure it will not uh, she will put bore ways decades failure they say she says oh, no no you are given very good uh, plant to her you are given bad plant to her you uh, us like that uh, like that they will say, she will say we say that plant both are same you are not, not meeting properly like that also if he says na many ladies the village ladies na, they say no 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 sir her plant working well her plant only are good so, but this plant is not uh, good you have changed the plant like that also they say so these are the things are happening so what happen na we have to give first awareness to the people whenever we uh, take the technology to the village or once what they have to give the technology understand the technology then only we have to give the plant otherwise uh we will not get bad name our uh, kendra will not get, get bad name other people will not get bad name but uh, technology will get bad name after some time now uh, they will not use it in case of uh, government official also it happens like that only suppose one government uh, official is there he lives three years or uh, sometimes they are shifting the uh, transferring that uh, officer also so that uh, uh, officer likes that plant he will consider the biogas plant uh, kitchen waste based by get fund at that uh, municipality level they will consider it the next officers will come he may not be interested about that by get fund he will leave it as it is then after 6 month that plant will become failure then they say the, no that uh, they put it said so that type of thing is not working sir that is waste like that they say but uh, oh, suppose we if we consider the by get fund uh, by methanation technology under place if it works 10 place means the 90 place also it has to work only so these are the thing but if 90 place is not working means that is the uh, users uh, uh, man made error only not technology error so that uh, technology is technology only technology is successful technology uh, wherever that uh, plant is not working means or needs technology sometimes little bit technology error will be there but the whole technology is good the user the party constructing it na they plant construct properly one thing and another one second one is uh who's or maintaining the biogas plant they may not the maintaining it properly so that type of things are also is happening so this is a, a important one and uh, quality improves saving the lpg kitchen garden you can have terrace garden also suppose we have a kitchen waste biogas plant in the terrace you can have both the thing terrace garden also you can have and uh, you can use that gas also uh, thermal purpose this is a bigger size biogas plant mm, this is a different type of stages of bigger size biogas plant uh, this same method whatever i showed in uh, fixed model uh, same method there we used for ring here we have to go for uh, masonry structure uh, this is the water jacket that gas holder you can see this is frv only the best gas holder uh, if you go for balloon gas holder you have to cover it with sheet ms sheet and all otherwise that will that bait will be there other bait will be there then it will not work at all when you go for balloon you have to have blower always the blower is good in the market if you go for bigger size plant uh, everything is possible because uh, uh, you have to increase the dia only so because that the cost of the uh, construction also will reduce you can go for uh, crusher Uh, blow air yeah, everything you can go for that uh, this is the uh, biogas plant uh, because is plant construction and the gas holder construction you can see this is the biogas plant this is our biogas plant at mamalapuram you can see the crusher and all in that one and this is a schematic diagram cooked with vegetable uh, vegetable waste you have to chop it and you have to keep it the hydrolysis tank hydrolysis tank is uh, one type of digester only you have to keep it a hydrolysis tank then that uh, digester will not have any problem uh, you have to keep it you can give the uh, aeration treatment also in the hydrolysis tank in case of uh, household level always this kalani pana that kalani water is then uh, that water water is they will store it in one place one pot that uh, that is a very important one that is the hydrolysis tank for uh, small size biogas plant then go for crusher and uh, we have to remove the only the leachate only we should not put it fiber portion in that one means the fiber portion goes inside automatically the conformation will take place so a little bit fiber no problem but lot of fiber when you put it now you have a problem 
uh, there will be steady pump uh, i can show you different way here you can see it uh, this is the plant uh, this is the hydraulic tank that is the tiles is another the hydraulic tank you see the uh, blue color is another that is the crusher uh, we have to crush it in that one Afterwards, the slurry goes to the tank. You, you can see the plastic hose is there. Na? The plastic hose, uh, there is a uh, slurry. Uh, it goes to the, the tank. There is a slurry pump will be there. The slurry pump will pump the uh, waste into the inlet pipe. This is the inlet pipe. You can see it. It goes to the inlet pipe. So through that, we are feeding it. So here, uh, these are the uh, machinery required. This is a stove, uh, bigger size burner is required. Slurry pump, this is the crusher. These are available in the market. Uh, uh, you can purchase it in the market. There are different companies are there, good companies are there. You can uh, purchase it in the market. This is the uh, stove, the burner stove. We can, uh, design, we can design it through help of uh, 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 welder. We can make as a very good Gandhian burner. These are the things, just I give the photograph. These are the waste in the hostels. Whenever I go many places na, for a size survey, these are the waste in the um, uh, college hostels. So this waste they throw somewhere. Are they give to the pig? If you give to the pig also, it's good only because it's direct energy. You are here, you are converting energy into gas. But if you give to the pig, that also only is good. Instead of having biogas plant, if you give to the pig, that uh, that also no problem but if uh, uh, many previous they are not giving to the pig they are directly throwing to the water body so they should not throw in the water body anywhere they can throw it but they should not throw in the water body if you throw in the water body uh, the very easy uh, very easily it become um, methane gas so uh, we should avoid uh, throwing the waste in the water bodies so these are the condition you can see it Everywhere they throw the waste, the pigs will eat, the cow will eat. So this other thing is happening. But nowadays a slightly improvement is there. We can say you see the you can see the water body near pigs are there, they throw the waste. But nowadays uh, developments are happening. Um, it will take more time uh, uh, to become uh, um, developed area. So this is the uh, LPG stuff they are using it. Instead of that, they can use it. Whatever waste is available in the uh, place, they can use that waste as a uh, gas cylinder. Instead of that, they purchase the gas from uh, market. So, uh, biogas can be electricity. You can use it for electricity. See the uh, electricity generator. Uh, you have to have a scrubber. Uh, after scrubbing that, uh, it can use it as uh, electricity. So at, if you give the electricity, at, directly you can connect with the uh, generator. Uh, but uh, you have to remove the sulfur gas. That's only we uh, give the scrubber in that one. Uh, after that, it will work. There is no problem. Nowadays in the market, uh, dual fuel generator is available in the market. So you can use that type of uh, dual fuel generator for uh, generation purpose. This is the CNG, uh, CNG gas. Uh, there are two methods. IIT Delhi having uh, uh, water pressure method. So firstly, they inject the water. That uh, carbon dioxide it will uh, carbon dioxide will soluble in the water. Only methane will be there. The methane they will remove separately. Then it convert it into. They will compress it in the uh, CNG form. It is happening. But we can have different type of bar pressure. Uh, 20 bar, 30 bar, 40 bar, up to 200 bar pressure, we can have it. But this is a compressed gas. You have to have a CNG cylinder only, you have to use it for uh, uh, filling it. And the other thing, you have to check up always wall thickness. With this much bar pressure, it will uh, work okay for this cylinder, and then you have to check up. We have given, we have made it in our Kedra. Uh, this type of plant, if you install this type of plant, uh, license is important. Getting license is very difficult. This is a PSA system, uh, pressure swing absorption test method, sorry, system method. Uh, based on pressure, methane will be separate, uh, carbon dioxide will be separated. 
the bethane will be convert uh, be, uh, that carbon dioxide can be used for medical purpose that also can be stored uh, dif uh, different uh, cylinder and this is a double staged compressor is there you can see that the blue color uh, compressor double staged compressor you have to compress it that is the cylinder you can, you can see, see the cylinder uh, you have to compress it and uh, store it in the cylinder so this is a pc system available in the market actually we are not involved in this type of thing we, we, we purchased and installed it that much only uh, there are many companies and another one we installed it in madurai uh, this plant on village but uh, but uh, you have to get the license for getting license we went to nagpur they says uh, uh, whenever you uh, fill the cylinder we have to do the online monitor then only we give the license that it says if you do the uh, on, uh, if you do the online monitoring uh, the carbon dioxide should be uh, two percentage maximum three percentage can be there if you have it more than uh, four five percentage then that uh, uh, blasting will happen uh, explosion will happen that's only if, uh, we are avoiding uh, uh, we avoided that one then we are given to the baba ram the ashram so we, uh, we have to go for many process for getting the certificate this is the you have to get the explosive license for that so uh, we are not got it we are given to baba ram they, they are doing it this is a cow uh, cow gives uh, per day uh, 800 to 1000 liters of gas uh, so that gas can be used uh, many people say the uh, cow is not environment uh, one like that but uh, we, are, we disagree with that one uh, versus uh, local cow is there no? it will not give that much gas in that one local cow uh, takes very less food but in case of uh, hybrid uh, you have to feed more and another one uh, you have to feed uh, different type of feed material nowadays in the market so many things are available they are feeding it they are getting very good uh, milk uh, yield but the cow is another uh, dung and all is different type of dung the smell, smell will be there in the dung but in case of local cow feeding in the uh, grass, you will not have this type of problem. Uh, so the hybrid will have a different type of problem, but the local bird will not have much problem. Is it? So these are the publication. Actually, we uh, used to bring the publication in Hindi, English, uh, Tamil. And another one, we used to have uh, on book on uh, different methods. How to repair the Dinabundu model, how to repair the... Um, uh, how to repair the uh, AVIC model. So like that, we used to give training. And uh, uh, many places repaired the plant. Many uh, recently also repaired Kalpakam plant. One plant uh, was defunct. We went there. Uh, we repaired the plant in Kalpakam. That is Bark method, Bob Atom Medical Center method model. So we repaired it. So we are good in that also. Because we are last 35 years, we are working in that field. Our supervisor, our technician, he has more knowledge than me because they have practical knowledge, more practical knowledge. I also have, I also work for field, but more than my knowledge because they are working for only for biogas because of their having more knowledge. So these are the booklet. These are very simple method. People can understand very easily. We used to give training program also. Uh, many people used to give training program. We used to give ex exclusive on uh, repellent maintenance. Government of India tell us to give the training. Uh, so we are given the training program. So uh, these are the uh, uh, our field in the work. Uh, so thank you, uh, thank you, sir. Any question that you can uh, ask me, I can answer it. Sir, uh, thank you, uh, Ramakrishna, sir, for your uh, informative and interesting talk on uh, different types of biomass. Uh, various value added products from biomass and uh, and uh, very detailed uh, things on how to handle the challenges in installing and uh, maintaining the uh, biogas plant in more practical manner uh, thank you sir